Okay, so pedestrians and plazas, is that what it's called? <laughs> anyway, it has been released today and I am playing around with it. I wanted to see if I could actually put down park assets on these roads, on these pedestrian roads. And you can, however, if you paint it as a park area, as I have done, because I have the central park here, and so I just went ahead and painted out the, this whole area as the park area. If you have it zoned for residential or anything, zoned for residential, um, commercial, uh, office space, etc., and if you put down any type of parks on a pedestrian road, inside of a painted park area it's going to scream at you and tell you you're not in a pedestrian area so i'm a little i'm a little miffed about that i hope a modder uh will come through and and correct that so that if you put a pedestrian road in a park area that it allows you to be able to um, put down park assets because you know, I, I will really enjoy having this. Now, this particular one has comes with its own street, so it doesn't really matter. But the smaller parks, I would really, I really do want to kind of build out a tourist area. I want to put down monuments, and you know, I'm not going to keep this here. But if I plop down, you know, this right here, I want to be able to say, hey, you know, it's inside of a park area. So I, you know, I guess I could zone a pedestrian zone and call it a tourist area and it, it'll be able to work there. Like I can move this over here and, and have it sitting over here. Let me see, let me see, let me see where I have some space over here. Mm, don't have really a lot of space over here. I can kind of test this out. Hello, there we go. Okay. So it's working over here doesn't have any water so let's give it some water but it is working over here so I guess I can um, as in, in lieu of having a park area I can create a pedestrian zone and then put and put my monuments in it and then just call it a tourist area so I guess I can do it that way uh, so I wouldn't be able to zone a park area put a gate down and then say hey you know, you got to pay money to access these little parks over here. I won't be able to do that, but that's okay. I just really wanted to see if it would work. And it's screaming at me. It's not going to work. So I'm going to go over here and just give this to these people over here. And so these people right here, um, who is that? What is that? Yes, yeah, so that's a residential area. So there's some residences that I have. You know, people want to live near Central Park. So <laughs> make a... Your home values go up a little bit more. So I'm going to have to go over here and just take this little piece of the park out because I'm not going to unzone them. And just take that little bit out. Oh, well, yeah. I guess they need to be on the street. So, um, let me see. Because even though they're in a the park, they're like, oh, not in a pedestrian area I need to be in a pedestrian area so let's give you a little pedestrian area and I was like I don't have any services <laughs> you didn't give me any services oh my goodness I don't have any services you didn't give me any services please <laughs> for the love of God can <laughs> you give us some services we can't survive without any services. So I'm going to give him some service. Well, nope, can't do that because there we go. I was going to destroy your house. It kind of defeats the purpose of me sticking that there. If it's going to destroy your house. Nah, I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and paint this over here a little bit more. Doesn't make any sense, but yo, whatever. <laughs> um, I'll just plop it there for now. figure something out these people in the oh these are all residentials this is all the residential area right here so I can go ahead and extend that out over here bring it over here and then um, since this street doesn't have anything this is a new this 
area right here I'll just go ahead and zone this whole thing over as a ped pedestrian area I'll leave that main street right there connecting but I'll go ahead and zone this as a pedestrian area but I'm not going to talk too long because I, I can be really really chatty I can be really really chatty and so I'm not going to do that but I am enjoying playing this um, particular pack what is it let's make this street color a little bit different I did sandstone before so let's do is this sandstone yeah I did sand. I didn't realize what I was doing before bluestone and then they have cobblestone let's do cobblestone for the area that I just did called sunset mall I don't have a problem with that I guess I can stick a mall over there and that's where I just did that I'm not going to pull that out and well, you know what I can make this whole thing over here let me see yeah it makes sense that makes sense I'll just pull that right there and make that pedestrian yeah and it does like if it does paint over the park area so but I'm not gonna do that because I have a gate right there and let's go ahead and make this let's upgrade the street over here do I have a bus going on that street? Nope, no bus route on that street, so. I do have a bus, yeah, it's going underneath, okay. So, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Cars are like, oh, did you see them just disappear? <laughs> did you see that car disappear? I can actually upgrade this too, so I can pull this out because that's not, there is no bus traffic over here either. Yeah, I did do some bus roads. So I was really excited about that. So I'm going to go here. Actually, I'm going to pull it all the way. Not that far. Not for right there. I'm going to pull it over here. This little curvy curve right there. And see what I'll do right there. Okay. And so let's go ahead and upgrade these streets. Okay, that's cool. Do I have any buses over here? Nope. Oh, we can go ahead and upgrade that too. And make sure that you're all in the pedestrian area. Yes, you are. Okay, so now that little service point makes sense right there. And yay! Okay, so um, it has all these little gaps in between. I don't like the little gaps in between. I usually end up putting like a, a road over there, but since this is all pedestrian, I'm just gonna pop that out a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and drop some assets. I really like these. This is so adorable. I think I have the ice cream one in the, lar in the food truck. I have that someplace else, but check this out. This is a large one. Look what happens. It just automatically goes across the road. Automatically. That is so cool. So I think this is the little area I'm going to. Actually, what I'm going to do is. That's too big. So I'm going to do this one. That's the food ice cream truck. So right there. And it automatically crosses the road. Isn't that cool? It just automatically just pops down and crosses the road. A little plaza area. So. That's nice that is nice oh, it's just people want to come in and just it's such a high demand for offices it's like oh my goodness it's just want to work over here it's right next to the airport too so go ahead and put some more offices in and so that's it i just wanted to come in and just show that in, in my other video i wanted to know if i can paint a park area and I'm too far away if i could paint a park area and then drop park assets in a park area with a pedestrian road well guess what i can put <laughs> A pedestrian road <laughs> through my park area but I can't drop city assets uh, they'll complain about it but I can night you know I can put park assets on these roads you know instead of just using the park roads I can put these roads in here and put park assets around it so that's interesting bye